Hey guys, Kevin here. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can create a very cheap and practical overhead camera using a microphone boom arm and a tripod ball head. It's very simple to set up and you don't need any DIY experience. Now, like most YouTubers, I started off with a tripod and it's good for what it is, but it's not always ideal. Generally speaking, what you need to do is sit to the side of the tripod and you can see everything that you're doing. But the problem is sometimes the camera shot, because you can't see the screen, it's sometimes out and what happens is you're sitting there showing someone how to do it and you know showing them a mobile phone, showing them a tripod ball head, whatever you're showing them, and it's not even being recorded. Now, the opposite is true if you stand behind the camera. If you're standing behind the tripod, you can see exactly what is being recorded. The problem being that you kind of have to, you know, sit like this to try and record it. And so now you're, you're getting everything in shot, but you can't even see what you're doing. So the tripod is good for what it is. You know, it's useful in certain situations, but an overhead camera is more practical and it's going to help me record better videos. Now, I'll just quickly show you the tripod ball head that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I did a close up and a kind of unboxing and review of this the other day. And if you see here, this is it here. Now the key thing here is this has got a 3 8 thread at the bottom, which means it will attach to most microphone boom arms. The other key thing is that this ball head allows you to move it around like this, different angles, and then when you tighten it up, your camera is going to be secure. It's got another couple of cool features as well. Biggest one, well it's got the levels there, but the biggest one being it's got the quick release plate, which means that you can attach your camera and then at any time you can pop it in and out. It's very, very practical. Now, this ball head is sold under many different names. I paid £15 for it. It's available for maybe $20 in the USA. You can buy it on Amazon on eBay from Chinese marketplaces such as GearVest, AliExpress, etc. And essentially all we're going to do is attach this to the microphone boom arm. Now, I've got a cheap microphone boom arm and an expensive one, so I'll show you both and I'll show you the, you know, the pros and cons of using both of them. So let's get to it. So let's first look at how it works with a cheap microphone boom arm. Now you can see here, all microphone boom arms work the same. What you've got first is a clamp, and you can see the clamp here. The clamp goes onto your desk, you tighten it up, and then this part, the top part, the boom arm, slides in. Like that. And then you can tighten it up like this. Now, the problem with this is, in theory, this should swivel, and it should swivel 360 degrees. It doesn't really work like that in practice. I've been using this for a few years, and since day one, you know, although this should, in theory, be able to swing around, and it can, and you can see here that it does swing around. The problem is that when you do that, the clamp moves around. So, if you go around to a certain point, the clamp starts moving. So, if you're trying to save money, or you think that your overhead camera is going to be staying in the same position all the time, then you can maybe save yourself some money and get a cheaper microphone boom arm and use that. So the setup is incredibly easy. What you've got here is, you see it, a thread here that's three apes, male, and this tripod has three apes, female. All you do is screw it in. That's it. Next, all you have to do is take off the quick release plate and put on your camera. Then simply slide your camera in. And it should hold in place. You can now control here, you can control it using the, the ball head to position your camera. Now the downside to this, you can maybe see that already, is that this isn't very, very strong. So if you're going to put a larger camera like this, 
you might struggle. This may be a good sell for action cameras and smaller cameras such as the RX100, Canon G7X, but if you've got something that's a little bit heavier, I'm not sure if this is the best setup. So I would recommend maybe checking out something a little bit more expensive. So if you're short on funds, you might want to consider using the cheap microphone boom arm. But this is what can happen. This is why I stopped using this, because it, whatever you do, you know, if you move it around a lot, it does fall down. And you really don't want to take that risk when you're using an expensive camera. So what I'm using is the Rode PC1 studio arm. Another one that I suggest using is the Heel PL2T. It's very similar price point, maybe a little bit more expensive. This one retails at around £75 in the UK and it's about $99 in the USA and worldwide. Very, very good and I'm going to be using this for years. I like this so much that I decided to buy a second one. So, the reason I bought a second one is simple. I'm going to continue using this one for a studio arm for a microphone boom arm and I'm going to use this one as an overhead camera. So I'll quickly show you what's in the box. So the clamp on cheap microphone studio arms tend to look like this. It's not the best, it's not very secure, and it's quite thin, not very strong. But look at this one, this is the one from Rode. It's very, very, very strong. Now, if you don't want to use the clamp, you also have an option which Rode provides in the box of putting this in. All you have to do is drill a hole in your desk and slot this in. It will sit flush with your desk. The reason I don't use this is simple. I, I move my boom arm around quite a lot. One week I've got it over there, the next week I move it around somewhere else. So, you know, if I had to start drilling holes, I'd have holes everywhere in a very short space of time. So, clamping it on is very, very simple. You just turn this around like this. Get it the right way around. And then, tighten it up. It's very, very easy to do. And once you've done that, all you have to do is take this boom arm. Now this can take weights up to about 1.1 kilograms and it's very, very secure. Now here is the great thing about this. You just slot it in and now you can see why I love this so much. That is in complete contrast to this one. And, you know, I used this for years and it, for the money I spent it was okay, but the problem was that you move it around and it falls because of the clamp being really poor. So once you put it in, that's it, really. There is another thing in the box, which is a 3 8 to 5 inch, a 5 8 thread, sorry. And we're not going to need that for this tutorial. So... Let's put the, the tripod head on, the ball head, and we'll show you how effective this can be. And it's the same process as before. Now, what you can see here, this is the 3 8 thread at the top of the boom arm. Now, the good thing about this is, in the other one, it's very, very weak. Now, you can see here, this one's just a little thin thing, and... You don't really have much control over this one. It only goes up to about there and then it stops. And it doesn't feel strong at all. In contrast, this is much more practical. This one can go 180 degrees. Top to bottom. Once you've got it at the angle that you want, you can tighten it up. And it'll be more secure. Now, all you have to do, again, same process as before. We're going to put on you can get it, the ball head, and the process is simple, just screw it on. We do not need any adapters for this because it is a 3 8 to a male to female. Once you've got it on, you want to tighten things up. It's 
still move around, but it's a little bit, you know, when it's a little bit tight, it's a bit safer. Next, I'm going to put my camera onto the quick release plate. When the quick release plate is attached to the camera, using a one quarter thread, I can slot it in and then tighten it up. So it's important to get that tight, get everything tight. And you can see how it works here. So when you've got everything tightened up, what you can do, you can swing it about, but you can also control the camera using the ball head part. So you can move this down, you can move it up, you can move it to any angle that you want. Well guys, that's me got everything set up now. The only thing I just did there was remove my camera strap because it was dang dangling around the place and just getting in the way. Um, I think that this is a very, very practical solution. It's very easy to set up. You don't have to do any hacks. It's not like you're going down to Ikea or your local uh, store and buying things, then drilling things, and then looking for parts. All you need to do is buy the ball head and then attach it to the microphone boom arm. It's very, very easy. Now, I would say, obviously, if, you've, if you're looking to do overhead camera shots, it does help to have an articulating um, LCD screen. So if you can get a camera that does that, it will help you in you know, different positions, different angles to let you see what you're seeing because there will be certain positions where you've got the camera like that and perhaps you're going to be filming the other way. Uh, I've set mine up as well so that I don't actually have to take this out of the, the tripod. I don't have to take it out of the, the ball head, sorry. I don't have to take it out of the release plate because at the side here I can open it up, I can get to the battery and I can get to my memory card and... It just saves me a little bit more time, you know, I can take the battery out and get it charged and I don't have to always take this off and on. I mean, which I'm using that as a bad example because this isn't going back in there. Um, okay, there we go. Um, and for me, this, this is mainly what this tutorial was about and mainly what my setup was about. You know, every setup is different. I mean, what you're trying to achieve will be different to me. But for me, for my desk, for unboxings, for being close to my computer, this is perfect for me and the way I've set it up is it's really going to help me for speed. As I said, it's got the rotating LCD screen, but the fact that I can get my battery and my memory card out without taking it out of this, it just saves me a couple of seconds or, you know, when I'm recording it, it's, it just saves me a little bit more hassle. And I love the fact that I can put this into any position and then when I'm finished, I can just push it away. Because when you see both of these here, when you see my boom arm, I mean, I could sit here and be talking to you guys right now, speaking into this and doing an unboxing. But when you see both of these on my desk, it does make my desk look a little bit busy and a little bit, well, there's too many things going on. But that's the beauty of these boom arms is they can go low, really low, and you can spin it around any angle. But when you're finished with it, you can just put it away and it, it kind of just tucks away, away from your desk. Now, a lot of you guys won't be looking for that. A lot of you guys will just be wanting a fixed camera that stays there all the time. But for me, for unboxing, sometimes I'm reviewing items that are small. Sometimes I'm reviewing items that are large. So I want to be going low in some shots and I want to be going high in others. When I did that with the tripod, what it meant was every time I had to get the legs up and down. Now, it doesn't seem like that would be a pain. But during the same unboxing, sometimes I'll have to go up and then down and you know you're not always in the same position so it's up and then up down up down blah 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 it's a pain um it's not a major inconvenience but what i'm trying to do is streamline my production streamline this you know the the way that i do videos so i think this is going to help me a lot i do appreciate you guys watching this video i hope that you found it useful i'll do my best to include as many useful links below um, to help you guys or maybe even link to a couple of other tutorials that I found online that you might find useful and again just to talk about the cheap one if you've got something like this already and maybe you're not using it or maybe you just only want to spend you know 10 bucks instead of 100 bucks what I would say is that you know this part does have a little bit weak part here but this might be ideal if you're only using an action camera or a compact camera but I do think that if you're going to be using something like a DSLR or a micro four thirds you might want to 
look at getting this one or the one from Heel because they can carry heavier loads. Remember that this ball head also weighs, you know, a couple of hundred grams as well, so that adds to the weight. You can, of course, if you are using an action camera, you might think that a ball head this large is overkill, so you might want to look at a smaller ball head. That is something um, that's available to you. Just to clarify before I go, I'm not saying this is the ultimate setup. All I'm trying to do is show you what I've been doing, how I've set mine up, and at the very least, hopefully I've given you guys an idea as to how you can set it up in your own office, in your own um, production. And I'll leave it at that, guys. I'll leave lots of links below. Ask a question below in the comment area if you need any help with this. And until next time, thanks for watching.